so as you can tell this is another bedroom video and it's quite serious I'm sorry if my videos haven't been as upbeat as usual I've been filming a lot and thinking oh I don't really want to upload that and yeah must be hungry um, and on Facebook I sent out a post asking you guys um, some questions about anxiety that you want me to answer because I feel not many people are very educated on that and I just want people to be aware of anxiety and the only question I got, I'm not seeing who it is, so this is going to be anonymous, is what is anxiety? Obviously, this isn't exactly something um, many people know about, and that's why I wanted to make a video. Clearly, oh, that's annoying me. Clearly, um, it turns out a lot of people that I um, know don't know what anxiety is and it's someone by default from attack straight in front of them, they have absolutely no idea what to do and ugh, it's awful. I have anxiety and I usually have extreme panic attacks. I've been recently getting um, twitches and very light panic attacks where I can still do things and not be like shaking and crying and sweating but just having a panic attack in general it's very odd I must admit and I've just gone into lesson and just sat there and with my hand like this on the table it's mostly my right hand which is very annoying because I write with it so my hand my arm looks so shaky or I have to stop writing for a bit and just try to calm myself down so just by the description I've given you already you can tell that anxiety isn't a um, very easy thing to deal with need a hairpin. Do you have ends? You have ends. Sorry, it's one of the wide ones, so. come from a very serious video into me doing my hair you know why and obviously this isn't a thing I want to be discussing it's not something I feel very comfortable discussing I'm aware there's only 21 subscribers on this channel and it's actually not that big of a deal if you think about it but I really like doing YouTube and the thing that stops me from doing some stuff is this little problem here and I hate it I just hate it and I can't get rid of it there's no cure because it's a mental illness and it just doesn't like to go away now I'm telling you this, I don't want any of you to treat me differently. I'm still the same Anna you knew four minutes ago that you probably most of you didn't know I had anxiety. Probably have never seen me have a panic attack and most likely will never will. Because if I'm filming a video and then I start having a panic attack, I'll stop the video and delete it. There are many videos that I can't film because 
when you have a panic attack, your brain kind of stores the situation away and takes it as a dangerous situation. So whenever you try to do it again, you'll keep having a panic attack. So they're just videos that I just have to scrap and stop because I will start panicking and I don't like that. Now I'm going to do um, like how you can tell if something's having if someone's having a panic attack or you are yourself. The first thing you'll notice if you'll find it hard to breathe even though you like stood still or sat down you'll find it hard to breathe. It's something that happens a lot or if you're having a light panic attack your voice will go weird and your shoulders and your neck tense up and it kind of feels like you've got like an orange stuck in your throat or a frog stuck in your throat and it kind of sounds a bit like this when um you're talking hi I'll say that. I think I'm. I think that. It's very hard to mimic. But you'll know. It just feels like you've swallowed something and it's stuck in your throat, but it's not stopping you from breathing. It's very weird. No, I am saying that and now my neck's starting to tense up. And my voice sounds fine, so... I should be fine. I'm not going to stop filming this video. It's too important. It has to be uploaded. Also, um... Adrenaline will be released around your body and will be going around your body like crazy and that will make you um, feel warm even though you're not actually that warm so it's so you can also mistake this for a fever which tends to be quite bad I've felt like I've had a fever and have headaches and had to lay down and when I took my temperature it was the same temperature as any normal human so which by the way is 37 degrees I think yeah 37 degrees I think it is and um, because of the adrenaline you feel warm and you'll start to sweat you don't always start to sweat. Um, also, something else you have to look out for is if you can't feel your hands, or you can't feel your feet, or you can't feel both, then I don't know why those go off, but they tend to. And well, it's a good idea to sit down and try to not grab hold of anything if you can't feel your hands or your feet, because well you're not going to be able to use them very well and you don't want to be falling and collapsing because you um, can't hold yourself up which tends to be the case so whenever I feel like I'm having a panic attack I would ask someone to help me sit down or I'll sit down myself because I know it's not a very good idea for me to be standing up I also try to not to grab hold of tables if I'm trying to hold myself up because I know I'm not going to be able to grab hold of it and I'm still going to fall so that makes no difference no matter what. Um, something else is um, you can start shaking as well because of the adrenaline again. 
you know, like, if you're on a roller coaster and you get, oh, this is so jelly, you just want to keep moving and, like, you feel really warm and you're fine and you just feel great. Well, it's sort of like that, except we don't feel great, we feel awful. I say we as there is another person with me. There isn't. And probably none of you are watching this video have anxiety. If you do, thank you for watching because I don't want to be talking just about myself. It isn't very nice. No one's it. Um, yeah. So, and you also feel sick? because whilst you're having a panic attack, um, your digestive system um, shuts down. It doesn't shut down completely, and obviously it gets, um, and it does work up, and it does wake up again and start working as normal. And that's why I always get a headache after having panic attacks, but I can't do anything about it because I have to wait until my stomach stops hurting because I won't be able to well drink anything basically or eat anything because well my digestive system isn't working properly and I'm probably just gonna throw it back up because my body can't handle the food because it's not ready it's like trying to fast feed it's like if you could go into a pregnant woman's baby, a pregnant woman's belly, and give the baby a spoonful of food and make him swallow it, the baby would just well bring the food back up because it wouldn't work because their digestive system isn't complete. Kind of bit like that. So now I'm going to talk about what can set off a panic attack. And I just want to keep a note, just before I start this bit, is that everyone, yes, does have anxiety, but before performing maybe, or doing a big speech, or going to do something really risky like um, skydiving or something we all have that type of anxiety every human you might not have that type of anxiety and you could be fine doing those activities that does not mean that you're not human but you will have some kind of anxiety doing something it's just people that suffer from it um, you just get this shock in weariness when you don't need to and it can happen like in occasions of waiting for things <laughs> I know that sounds very odd but you just get very anxious and that triggers a panic attack um, doing anything that people have to rely on you for like a lot like um, at school in my band I felt like people relied on me on a lot because I kind of kept it orientated and I was aware of all the lyrics and I was aware of who needed to work on what and I just put them forward before me which then made them think that oh she's taking control of it we'll just move it all to her and they suddenly started relying on me for everything and expecting me to come to every rehearsal when I couldn't and well it just ended, didn't end well basically It did cause me to have some panic attacks. Um, performing, yeah. Um, me and you people, 
you know, sometimes when you're just talking to someone and you're there but you're not and the words just go right over your head and you're, not, you're just not listening, you're trying to listen but you can't, it's like you can hear the noise and you can see the words coming out of the mouth except there's nothing actually going into your brain like your nerve cells just stop working in your ears and you can just say all of this they're trying to have a conversation they might ask you a question that you can't answer because you don't know the answer to and they skate and you're scared about it and the person will just go mental you'll just go mental because they can't hear you and the person in front of you will be thinking they're being really rude because they're not talking back and I don't think they're listening it's actually not that case it's that for some unknown reason we can't hear you although we want to and it's not a very good um, thing to think that person's being mean or rude or if they ask to leave so they can get a drink or a bit of fresh air it's not being rude they're doing it for their own safety and help and also so you don't get worried about that person as well because if you stood next to a person that's having a panic attack if you're worried as well that's just going to make it just so much worse because that person just can't no. remember when I said you're always sure there's an accent or something you feel like you've got something stuck in your throat you're doing that you don't want to you feel so loud oh, I'll keep going everything just feels weird and what was I talking about? No. And don't ask anything of the person. Or else you can't do. Don't ask them too many questions. Don't repeat yourself. People don't like it when you repeat yourself. Well, I don't. If I'm not having a panic attack and people repeat themselves, it tends to irritate me. So if I do the first time, just I'm busy and I can't just turn around to talk to you before I finish my sentence because then that would be rude to the other person. You just have to wait. <laughs> I've been talking about this for 18 minutes. I don't think I'm going to get my message through in 20 minutes. But it's just going to have to happen, isn't it? People tend to think people that have anxiety, it's just you don't know they have anxiety. When they ask to leave or they're having a panic attack and they're crying and shaking. Um, people tend to think that that person, well, if you think you're, you'll think yourself that that person's a bit of a weirdo that they're thinking that that person that you're a bit of a weirdo they don't want to go near you it's just it's just and so many people don't understand anxiety and panic attacks it doesn't go well sorry about my voice it's the uh, thing I said it it doesn't go well I, 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 I think that the it doesn't it doesn't really help with 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 things. It it it, it, it tends to <laughs> be that the person actually is bothered about you and not thinking that they'll go away from that person 
Ouch, what button? They could be worried. They could just look at you and think, um, okay, that's not something you see every day. I'm just going to leave that person and hopefully it'll be okay. That's what I hope people think when I am having a panic attack and they're all like just staring at me. I think that everyone thinks I'm just being a bit of an oddball. I'm not technically being an oddball. I'm just doing something I can't control. Obviously, said it's a mental illness. So there's no cure. There is medicine you can take if you want to take the medical route around this. But you can get it at any stage of your life. It's not something that you just wish for. And a panic attack is something I never want to send to anyone. I remember before I had anxiety or before I realised that I had anxiety and I wasn't just being weird. Um, I used to joke a lot about people giving me panic attacks when they scared me or I couldn't find things and I was worried. I didn't actually realise that it affected myself. So I was offending myself as long as so many other people. And I say offending, it's not actually offending. Just some people take it offensively and sometimes, not all the time, I do. If you're joking, I'm not fine. But if you're like trying to take the mick or you're really sore or you're just not being very supportive, that person isn't going to look at you very nicely they're going to think that you're being really mean and they're just not going to like you basically and it shouldn't go like that I think people should be more educated in this I don't think I mean learning about anxiety is actually an optional thing you don't have to learn about it it depends on what careers you want to take and I don't think that should be fair because there could be loads of people you see every day you probably think you know them so well but you don't know this side of them I've had anxiety for three years I've known my best friend for two only this year I actually told her I had anxiety and panic attacks and that she has actually seen me have a panic attack. She just wasn't aware of it. And she got quite shocked. She didn't really understand how I have anxiety, what triggered it, how I just got it. But quite frankly, she did fine. I didn't ask for it. It just came. And I've kind of like taught her what to do in case I ever have a panic attack again. And in front of her, I just want to make sure I'm going to be with some. If I'm having a panic attack with someone, I I'm going to be in a safe place with that person. I want to feel comforted and okay and find that person very warming and just really like them so that's why I picked my best friend also there's um, another one of my friends who has had anxiety since she was six six and I don't know how she used to deal with it for that long well she might have said six I can't remember at the moment but I think she said six And I know I can come to her for stuff like this, even though for the past couple of days she's been giving me, <laughs> she's been on my last nerve and I really, really just 
want her to go away, but I kind of want because what I'm kind of concerned for, I have reason to question, I can ask her and vice versa, and there are always stuff I can go to to ask people we're not alone when in this battle but it's a very long and hard battle I must admit now not something I want to get up but it's on my phone is um, something I saw on Facebook Anxiety and perfectly who she is to be. Sorry, my mum. <sighs> Let me just say this last thing and then I'll go. Um, depression, anxiety, and panic attacks are not a sign of weakness. They are signs of having tried to remain strong for too long. Did you know that in one one in three of us go through at this in one point in our lives. Would you post this on your wall for at least one day? Most people won't, but it's Mental Health Awareness Week. Share the support. Let's those who struggle know that they're not alone. And I know I'm not alone. And if you want me to make a part two, I will. I won't. I just. <coughs> 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 I won't be on my own though. I won't be on my own. she seems to have a bank attack but she knows what to do so bye I'm sorry if this hasn't been very clear it's just she's giving me a bank attack and that isn't very effective because it's not talking about so bye